Hello, viewers, welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. And today we're doing My Hero Academia The Counter Part 2. Yeah, I can't remember when the Counter Part 1 it came out, but eh, what can I say? I mean, uh, in this, uh, nobody in the uh, World Security Bureau able to get through any heroes that were in the hospital when uh, uh, Shigaraki awakened. But before they, uh, before the SEO happened, dare to do so, that uh, Fat Gum was able to find the uh, Todoroki and told him where to bring hawks. And it seemed like Dobby just looking over uh, the battle between the hero and the villain when um, a wild mount lady is uh, taking down the ice villain as part uh, of the army. And Compress is as the uh, telling Dobby about uh, twice his death and yeah, Toga just uh, lost it. So he's just stabbing or just killing people with knives just because he wants to. As he looks more villainous than ever. And with Shigaraki, yes, he uh, runs uh, into uh, in Ever and get to a short fight. But Shigaraki keeps hearing uh, a voice saying, All for one. And. When he says that in front of it, in ever when he's talking to one of the psychics, yeah, Deku hears it and he knows what that means, and he decides to try to lead a Shigaraki away since he's heading to where the evacuation center is. Yeah, the reason he knows where Deku is because using the crook that rag ragdoll one of the members of the. Wow, wow, pussy cats. They got uh, her quirk taken by all for, all for one. No, all for all. I don't remember. Yeah, all for one. Uh, talk on season three. Um, but go, uh, I see, uh, going with the Deku and Deku taking the, uh, he's a uh, following, but. Bakura just, just reels that he wants to take down uh, Shigaraki for uh, kidnapping him. And I think he holds Shigaraki responsible for uh, uh, All Might's uh, retirement. And I think he still holds himself responsible for that. And yeah, those are the reaction that it ever has when he hears that uh, Shigaraki is going after uh, Deku. Is, Pretty good, and just, I'm just wondering why uh, the villains after this kid. And uh, the first meeting of the inheritance of uh, All Might and One for All, or no, Off One. Uh, the same for that is a uh, kind of good, but Deku get, and Bakugo get saved by Gran Torino. Yeah, turn out the other. Uh, Heroes that are in the hospital are alive as well with uh, Ryukyu uh, fighting Sigurdaki with Never and uh, Eraser Head uh, uh, trying to erase uh, Sigurdaki's uh, quirk. And just the uh, montage, or just the speech he makes about uh, him being alive and uh, Shield actually sacrificing. Himself to save him and that, and the anger when he uh, sees that he's after uh, one or two of his students, it's just good. <laughs> yeah, I think Race had is still one of my favorite uh, characters in the show. And yeah, it turns out that Grand Trino knows about Bako knowing that uh, they won for all secret to know uh, all my actually told him. And Deku wants. To uh, fight, but Grantrino was thinking that he can't uh, uh, take him since uh, President Mike uh, told him that 
Sokaki Yasia has the uh, of one the quirks or the quirks of the main, main uh, back I can transfer to him. And it does uh, seem like uh, even though he doesn't uh, have his uh, quirks in the race right there, uh, well, race some, he's still uh, untouchable to the heroes and it never just uh, appears until all my way uh, he uh, jumps. And that. Um, there is a moment when uh, Sakaki is taking that erasure, it's cool. So. Mm. And yeah, uh, things just go from bad to worse when it turns out the no moves from the hospital. Our life and come up. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a, a decent episode. I think if the focus is more on the Sick Rocky trying to get to Deku and the uh, Deku and a uh, uh, Bako trying to get him away from the, from the citizens, but. Yeah, I think I prefer when it focuses on the on the other members of the cast, like the as the character from class A and B, which so they'll be doing it in next week's episode, so I might enjoy that better. Uh yeah, I think that Grantino wrong saying that it's only a that uh Sick Rocky's only one person since with the quirks he has, he probably it'd probably be like a an equivalent to an or uh, like an army or something like he's able to uh, regenerate in the uh, when it was in in other words a hell curtain and does he block or reduce some of the in other words the uh, fire attacks so hmm. um I do kind of like the look at Sig Rocky and it looks like more like uh, Creepy than usual. And, uh, yeah, also, uh, in the next episode, I think they're gonna be showing that Sayanto Makia going up against uh, some of the heroes. Yeah, it's gonna tell me it's gonna be a lot of heroes that are gonna die for, the, for these last the, uh, next few episodes, but, you know. And uh, yeah, I think in this episode things will just get from just get just getting him worse. Like first, uh, Sig Rocky and know about at one for all and know where Deku is, and then no moves that uh, come back. But I just wonder what they gotta do with that. Oh, yeah, I think there's a uh, another one of the in other words, psychics. Then they get Kaido, Kaido or something. I don't know what his uh, power is, but he said if he uh, fully uh, used it, then the uh, razor has the eyes be stinging him. It doesn't hurt fire. A quirk, I was wondering. Mm. You know, uh, some good action like always. I don't know if the. I think that the di dialogue is uh, went on for, for too long. And with the uh, Bako having the flashbacks to some times where uh, he just said uh, same once again how he's uh, behind on in uh, with, with uh, Deku where he's gonna cash up on that, but uh, I don't know if that's actually needed. Mm. Well, like I said, hopefully uh, next week's uh, episode is better, but uh, till then, I'm Sue. Let's you guys later.